Okay, so this is the worst slam in mixed martial arts history, okay? And there's been other bad slams. This one's the worst, and I'm going to share it with you. Man, I don't even know where to start. Um, I already feel bad for this guy. Like, um, he's a black belt in Taekwondo. I have a black belt in Taekwondo from a long time ago. Um, this is his, like, pro mixed martial arts debut, and he's going against Travis Fulton, who maybe you know has a lot. I think he's passed away now, but at the time of this fight, I mean, look at him. Look at this guy. Travis Fulton had hundreds of fights under his record. This guy has no fight. Here's Travis Fulton. You know? And we all know what happens at this time... I forget, this is Extreme Challenge 22, it's years ago, but at this time, Taekwondo versus wrestling and Jiu-Jitsu, we know what's going to happen. I mean, and like Travis Fulton is like limping into the ring. The other guy, he was throwing spinning kicks and doing the splits. Travis Fulton is limping into the ring. There's a huge weight difference. Oh, man. It's just... Part of me feels guilty sharing this with you. But part of me feels like, you have to see this. You just have to. You know? And what's the lesson we learned from it? I don't know. Maybe... Don't... Okay, one, learn how to grapple. Two, don't take fights against guys that are way, way heavier than you and way more experienced than you when you're doing... Look at him. And he's already celebrating and stuff. Like, that's not... Like, that's not good. Like, a person shouldn't be doing this. And look at Fulton, he's like, oh, oh, it's gonna, it's so bad. And it's in a cage, which isn't good because the corners are deeper, you know what I mean? You know, like a triangular cage, the corners be even. Throw, fly, flying kick, because it's Taekwondo, you know, kind of cool to see. And now, uh, you know, if you're sitting, if you're not sitting down, please sit down, because, you know, yeah, Fulton just shoots in and takes the guy down, and then watch what happens here, okay? Normally, like, big slams happen when a person's, you know, like a big takedown or whatever. Watch this. I mean, Fulton, the guy doesn't really have a guard, but Fulton passes his guard. The guy's got him in a headlock, you know, and he's squeezing with all his might there. You know, good for him for trying and stuff. I mean, but he doesn't really know how to grapple. He's not, and look at this. Watch this. Fulton just lifts him. Look at that. Like that is, and now the guy is just, you know, I don't even know what to say. It's real bad. You know? It's real bad. And now like all the medics and doctors and stuff come pouring into the ring here as if nobody knew that was going to happen. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, hey, let's take a Taekwondo guy that has had no mixed martial arts experience and let's put him against Travis Fulton, who's had hundreds of fights and has basically doubled the guy's weight. And now we're all going to act like this is some kind of tragedy. Like, you know, like the dude got hit by lightning or, you know, there was an earthquake and he fell into a chasm or something. You didn't know it was going to happen? You didn't know that was going to happen? Ridiculous. I mean, really, I guess the, the responsibility is on the, the fighters to either take the fight or say no thank you. That guy should have said no thank you. You know what I mean? And even Travis Fulton should have said no thank you, you know? I remember, and I'm pretty sure they back an ambulance right up to the ring now to get the guy out of the, or the, it's not a ring, it's a square. I'm pretty sure they back, and look, and Travis Fulton is limping, he was limping on his way into the ring, you know? And see, look, now they're going to load him into an ambulance. I don't know what the moral of the story is, but there you go.